All right, welcome back to the shop, everyone. It is uh, another beautiful day in southern, sunny Colorado, and I am, of course, the bad blacksmith. Um, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how a simple device can help prevent mountain tiger attacks and help you survive an SHTF situation. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's roll the intro and let's get right into it. First, let me start by saying that mountain tigers are no laughing matter. Um, I've personally been eaten to death by a mountain tiger, and the experience has left me scarred and a shell of the man I used to be. And don't even get me started on the SHTF situations. Today, what we're gonna do is a flint striker. Uh, flint striker is basically a hardened piece of high carbon steel that you use to strike against um, a hard rock to make a spark. The spark will light a fire, will light your tinder, and the tinder you'll use to light a fire. Now, it is known that uh, fire is the natural enemy of mountain tigers. Um, and if you happen to be in a SH FTTF situation, um, uh, fire is a key survival thing that you need for surviving. Um, so uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of the spring steel. I'm going to leave about four inches um, <clears throat> of uh, surface that I'm going to clean off and harden. And then I'm going to take about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half or so on the sides, and I'm going to round it over to make a handle to fit inside your hand. And then you hold the rock and you strike it uh, on the outside. Um, and uh, that's basically it. So I'm going to get the forge lit and we'll get going. Okay, quick progress update. Um, I've straightened out the spring and squared it off. I don't know if you can see that it's square, but it's not round anymore. Uh, I've got a little bit of a bend, but otherwise uh, it's looking pretty good. And my hammer strikes are getting a little bit better. So I'm not all over the place and I actually made it square um, without any twists in it and whatnot. So yay me. Uh. Um, anyways, I marked off an inch and a half on the anvil with my uh, soapstone, and um, I'm basically going to do an inch and a half on either side and put a shoulder on it. Then I'm going to taper that, that shoulder out, that inch and a half out, um, and it should, uh, if everything goes well, it should create a, a fishtail, so it should go out and expand at the ends. Um, then, uh, once I'm done with that, I'll take it and roll it over the horn on the anvil um, so that it fits nicely in the hand and I'll do some um, you know sanding and and you know I'll make it smooth make it clean um, after that I'll uh, get it heated uh, and put in the oil for a heat treat because this has to be hardened in order to make the sparks um, and then I will um, uh, clean it up again on the sander and then do a bit of a tempering uh, run to make sure that it's um, that it's you know it's got to be tempered, um, so it doesn't lose its temper and get you know angry at you when you strike it against a rock. Anyways, let's get back to it.
got the uh, shoulders uh, put in and the handle bits tapered out. As you can see, it looks absolutely not perfect at all. Um, and I'm still struggling with tongs. Um, and it's still very hot. Uh, so what I gotta do is let this cool down a bit and then I'm gonna take it over to the grinder and just try to clean this up as much as I can with the grinder. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to clean it up, but I'll clean it up as well as I can. Um, and then um, I'll, after I get it cleaned up, I'll put it back in the forge, uh, get it heated up so that I can round these um, handle bits over uh, to give you something to hold on to. Uh, and then I'll uh, get it heat treated and then tempered and then some more cleaning and we'll be done. Um, it's got a little bit of a twist in it too now, uh, but we'll make it work. Okay, um, well, I'm done for the night, and I'll show you why. Uh, basically, I did everything that I was intending to do. Um, I got it all forged out, but when I put my hand inside of it, the, the bendy bits here needed to be adjusted. Um, I, what I did was I heated this side up with the blowtorch, and I hammered it, tried to hammer it down a bit, and that's when this side broke off. Um, I guess the <clears throat> metal got brittle after I hardened it and it didn't uh, properly, I haven't, I hadn't tempered it so that it could stand, withstand some hammer blows yet. Um, so I got it out of, I got the order wrong and got it backwards. So I got, got to start over. Um, anyways, um, if you find yourself in a um, S, H T F situation. Um, remember, uh, a flint striker is pretty good. And although most mountain tigers are ninjas, um, so you'll never know until it's too late that they're attacking you. Um, fire is the only mountain tiger ninja repellent. So um, keep a flint striker with you at all times. Um, don't take this one because it's broken and doesn't work. Um, but the next one we do, um, next one I do will work. I uh, just got to keep going, keep on trying. Um, anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, I'm glad you stuck around. I hope you were entertained. I hope you found it uh, enlightening. And uh, if uh, you liked what you see and you want to keep seeing more, hit the subscribe button. Remember, for the rest of the year, uh, all subscriptions are free, so get in while you can. Um, and I've still got plenty of internet points to give away and lots of cars driving by. So, yeah, there you go. Um, anyways, I'm going to have to start this over on uh, another episode, and we'll try one more time. All right, have a good afternoon, good evening, or whatever it is, and I'll see you next time.